back to another video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You might hear some raw audio. I have my water bottle. Again, make sure you drink your water, stay hydrated. But I have this Brita water bottle. You might be hearing some of that. Anyways, it's a quick little tutorial. We're going to try to keep it under five minutes. I know I say this a lot, but we're going to jump right into it. If you don't have my drive, make sure you go to uh, the link in the description. I might have it as a pinned comment to join my Discord, and that way you get the drive, and it has over 700 skins. Uh, I just got the new 15.2 skins in there, pickaxes, weapons, all that is in there already. Um, so if you want any of that, just go to my Discord, and then there will be following steps in my Discord to get it. Okay, second thing we gotta do, since we already have the skin, we're gonna append a, a weapon. Go to pen, then we're gonna find it. If I can. Oh, well, we had it in here the whole time. Oh, well. Um, go to object, and then get the armature and get that saw rifle. Uh, from here, what you wanna do, maybe, because my skin is so big, why is my skin so good? Okay, I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, we're just going to scale this up to 1. Because the uh, the skins, the skin's bones are set to 1. If you want to know how I did that, I just... But yeah, let me turn on my thing real quick just so you guys can know. Alright. Set. All right, so everything that I'm pressing is down here in the bottom right of your screen. Uh, like I said, the bone um, is scaled to one, and what I do is I I highlight from the bottom up, and then it highlights everything, uh, and that's what I did for this. So we're we're just gonna hide these bones right here. All right. Anyways, what we're gonna do we're gonna select or we're gonna press G. R to rotate it and then we're going to rotate it on the x-axis I believe and then we're going to press enter and then for the sake of this video I'm not going to make it perfect but I'm just going to you know do a demonstration all right anyway um, you don't necessarily have to worry about the bones honestly you can uh, delete it and if you want to delete the bones you're going to go in here go to object mode and then press delete there we go, now we don't have any bones. Alright, because we don't need them, honestly. Uh, but what you want to do is you just want to line the gun up to whatever hand, just be on the left hand, the right hand. Uh, I have it on my right hand, um, just because I'm a right handed person and it just, I don't know, it's easier for me because I don't know, it just, you know. So, Alright, so basically what you want to do is you just want to uh, like line up the gun into his hand um, and then we just want to pose him holding the uh, holding the gun properly. I'm not going to do it all the way, but I'm just showing you guys. You know, so you want to get this bone and you want to make his finger uh, pretty, pretty relaxed. I've seen a lot of renders where people they have, they have the person's finger on the trigger. Uh, you don't want to do that because it's, it's, my god, guys, honestly, it's just, it doesn't make any sense, okay? Uh, your finger should not be on the trigger at any point unless, unless you're ready to shoot. Otherwise, it should be resting, um, about right here. Alright, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me for the sake of this tutorial. Play around with it, you guys know. You want to have the character's uh, armature up, okay, 
what I'm gonna show you guys what I like to do. You can assign this to any any single bone that you want, but I, I like to assign it to the hand. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So what you do is you have the armature up, right? Okay, cool. And then you click on the object that you want to parent. Okay. So to do that, you go right here to this object constraint properties. It, it's this weird looking. It looks like it looks like a uh, a chromosome. And then you go to add object constraint. And then you go to child of. All right. And then what you can do is you can take this eyedropper tool and you can select the bone that you want, or you can just go over here and then you can go to uh, aerial assault trooper which is what we're using is this the character that we are using, and then for the bone you can select or you can type in hand yeah click set inverse once you have that and then you should be good to go you can deselect it you can get out of this tab and then once you move any part of his like left arm basically because it's it's attached to his right hand or I'm sorry once you select his right hand or right, right arm because it's attached to his left hand or right hand, <laughs> uh, it's gonna move with it all right it's it's stuck to it okay that's how you attach a weapon of your choice to a character I hope you guys enjoyed it if I if this helps you out please leave a like uh, also feel free to subscribe if you want um, I will have another video it should be dropping shortly after this one um, but yeah that's pretty much it